I'm the CEO of the Matchbox Group. You have mastered countless skills in your life. Think of your favorite tool uh, that you use to perform well at work. It could be something as vague as maybe you do your best work in the morning or time management, motivating yourself with music or greeting others to make them feel welcome. Uh, any kind of tool that you use is fine. Now think of that and you'll see how practicing that tool moved your competence with the tool up this learning continuum. Of course, first you gain knowledge. You begin with an intellectual understanding of the tool and how to use it. Then you built skill with quality practice using that tool. Then you developed it to the point of ability through more quality practice, ideally using the tool in multiple situations. And uh, this allowed you to use that tool on demand, even under stress. That's a great thing about the ability stage. Then you saw long-term rewards because once you use the tool long enough, it became a habit. At this stage, your brain's autopilot takes over and now efficiently guides you without having to think much about it. Because of that, habits are easier for our brain to do. And because we do them a lot, we tend to get those good results more often. Then you enter that satisfying realm of mastery. Years of doing this habit well enabled you to excel in performance and to creatively improve ways of applying that tool. You know, another example of you moving up the learning continuum is learning to drive. You started gaining knowledge about it, then that scary, awkward stage of learning the skills needed to drive a car, particularly if it has a shifts. Then you put those skills together in the ability to drive in many situations. And eventually you reached habit stage, being able to do it calmly and easily without much thought. Matter of fact, you probably put makeup on now when you drive. No, don't do that. Now the mastery stage, which we'll be honest, not everyone gets to, uh, by the time you got there, it's much easier to drive